What's up, everybody? This is the eBay Sorcerer with my very first YouTube video. Hello out there. With that said, let's get to it. Today, I am sourcing a thrift store not far from my house, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, first thing I come across is a fragrance lamp burner made by Lamperge in France. I paid $1.50 for it. It's worth $25. Uh, some styles are retired and hard to find. With anything glass, you wanna make sure you check for cracks or chips or anything like that. It was missing the top. It should have another top on top of that top. Three tops. <laughs> but I do have some extra ones laying around at home. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, I did come to this thrift store a week before that, before this trip. So I kinda didn't wanna have to look through everything um, again, so I kind of just glanced real quick. I did come across this cool little sangria bottle, kind of like the Sublime song. Just kidding, I know it's Santeria. Uh, I did pass on it though. Uh, albums, I always look through the albums. This was a Charlie's Charlie Daniels band album, but it was not in good condition. And with vinyl condition is super important. And I did look through the albums the time before, so I just wanted to see if there was anything added I did find this album and I thought maybe it was signed, uh, but come to find out it was just the owner of the album. Nobody in the band was of that name, so I put it back. Signature's always um, going to make an album worth more. And after this, I went ahead and looked through the kitchen gadgets. Kitchen gadgets are really, really big on eBay. They sell well. And the first thing I came across was this right here, it's an Echo Chromium plated pull through knife sharpener. I paid 50 cents for it. It's worth $14. Um, Echo is a good brand. Um, it's vintage. Uh, it was in really, really good condition. Uh, so it was worth picking up. Next, I come, come across a, a Echo Spice of Life potato masher right here. Um, it didn't have a price on it. I think I paid a dollar. I thought I could get more for it, but it was a very common pattern. Uh, I did pick it up um, for a dollar, and I think I can get about nine bucks for it. Um, I found this metal corkscrew can bottle opener, uh, which was pretty neat. I paid 50 cents, it's only worth nine. It had 19 cents etched into the side of it, which I thought was really, really neat. Uh, right into the aluminum. I found some random spatulas. I uh, paid 50 cents each for them. I like to lot them together. That's actually one of my listings right there. You can get about $3 each for just no name spatulas. You can use them for flipping, spatuling, and spanking. Who am I to judge? <laughs> Next up, I find a Pampered Chef avocado peeler. This was discontinued and retired. I paid $1.54 for it. It's worth about $25. You can't really see it well, um, but there was a logo on it. It looked like this. This is Pampered Chef's old, old logo. This is their old logo. They've gone through quite a few changes on their logos. Um, and I wasn't sure if you notice the tip is bent a little bit up. I wasn't sure if it was meant to be like that. As it turns out, it was. Um, so this was a really good buy for $1.50. And that, you know, kind of goes back to, you don't want to be afraid to take chances on items. The best way to learn about things that sell on eBay is to pick up some things that are out of your comfort zone. But you want to focus on the things you know. This is a Foley aluminum handheld citrus uh, juicer. I paid a dollar for it. It was worth nine. It's not a great pickup, but it was in really, really good condition. And I know that they sell well because I've picked them up before. I come across some bottle openers. Uh, any bottle opener is usually worth picking up and you can lot them up together and sell them. And they do pretty well. Uh, what is this right here? Leave a comment if you know what this is. I, I really had no clue. I do look at some of the office products here, but I didn't really see much of anything uh, in the office products. Office products do okay on eBay. They're not particularly great, but they do okay. A couple of the things right here that I check out. This is a cool little decal made by Decal Works. It's for a Honda dirt bike motocross. I paid two fifty for it. It's worth about thirty dollars. It's actually for a local crew down here in my area, so it was custom made. I 
see another one that I picked up as well, uh, but it was not any good. Uh, it was I thought maybe it was for a famous driver or something like that, but it, it really wasn't. So I did pick it up though. Sporting goods. I came across this uh, head guard. It's made by SST, and it goes inside of a cap. I paid a dollar fifty, and I can get around forty bucks for it. Um, Got to protect the little ones' heads. Adults, nah, not so much. We're not worried about them as much. But this was a good get. I did buy a bunch of um, items that were brand new in the package, some phone accessories, memory cards, things like that. Obviously, things are going to sell better when they're brand new in the package, uh, but not always, uh, depending on what it is, but usually they do. Um, I came across this interesting find right here. Um, it's a Sears drive belt for a washer machine, clothes washer. I paid $2.50 for it. I was thinking it might be a hard to find part, but it was not. This is a flip flop. This is something that um, you think is worth something and it's really not worth much. But since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and list it. And I actually already sold it, um, which was good. So I'll take it. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't dry rot or anything like that. The packaging was a little yellowed, so it had me a little worried, but it was OK. There's a power supply right here. I have no way of testing it, but I thought it looked neat. If you know what kind of power supply this is, leave a comment. Let me know. Was it something I should have picked up? How do I test something like this if I don't have what it plugs into? This was a really cool little candle holder I found, but it was damaged. You're going to see on the other side, it's got chips. Things like that aren't worth picking up if they have damage. Nobody wants to buy a damaged candle holder. I did find this really cool Italian leather glass decanter with a Fleur de Lis crest. I paid $2.50 for it. I can get $45 for this. Uh, it was in good condition. It did have a little bit of a, a issue. Um, you might have seen a little piece kind of fall off as I was rubbing it. Um, but I think this is a really, really good buy. Someone out there is going to be looking for this. And oh, this employee was, was eyeballing me as she walked by right there. Uh, I guess she was interested to see what what I had, um, what, I, what I was looking at and what, what was my camera doing. Uh, this is a glass canister. These are very collectible, uh, but it was unmarked. If you like what you're seeing so far, take a minute to like and subscribe my page. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if there's anything in particular. Should I stick to one thing and really show why I source certain things? This is something I tend to stay away from back there with those plates. They, they take up a lot of space and they're time consuming. But cookbooks, cookbooks are always great. Um, sometimes I'll just pick up cookbooks to lot them up together, but you want to stay away from generic ones like Betty Crocker, Better Homes and Gardens, things like that. Things that would mass produce, you can stay away from. This one was a good one. Um, they're they're worth picking up for fifty cents or less. Um, I have a, a a bunch of listings with lots of cookbooks. This is one of my listings right here uh, with nine of them together. So you can't get a lot for them, but they do. Uh, sell and um, this was uh, one worth picking up if I'm just gonna lot it together I uh, come across this other one this cotton country collection Louisiana Junior League of Monroe cookbook I paid a dollar 25 for it I sold it for $12 so it's not a you know not a whole bunch of profit there but they do sell really really well uh, people love cookbooks from Louisiana. Everybody and their grandma down here has a, a cookbook. Things like this that are more easily found locally or regionally, but not anywhere else, are really, really good buys. Uh, we tend to think of things that are common, but they're only common here, and they're not common everywhere. So cookbooks would fall under that. This is a Miss Mayo's How to Make a Wedding Cake by Esther Murphy it's from 1981. I paid a dollar. It's worth about 12 bucks. Um, I did find some more cookbooks. Some of these cool little ones right here, like this New Orleans recipes from your favorite restaurants, had a little bit of damage. I ended up just lotting that one up uh, and I grabbed a, a few more like that. And there you saw some really common ones I just kind of passed up. Clothing, I do sell a lot of clothing. 
Uh, they didn't have a ton of good clothing here, so I kind of just blasted through it real quick. But this was nice. It's an Abercrombie & Fitch crop denim jumpsuit. It was smocked. I paid $3.50 for it. I could sell it for $28. Uh, condition, much like with albums, is super important with clothes. You have to inspect it very carefully. Make sure there's no stains, holes. You have to check for dry rot in the elastic. So you see that smocking on the back. You need to make sure that it, it you know, if you, you if you grab it and pull it, it doesn't crinkle or anything like that. That usually means it's dry rot. So I picked that up. That was a good buy, but there really wasn't much other clothes. So I kind of passed on all that. So that's pretty much it for my haul. The total that I paid for all the items that I picked up was $17.75 plus tax. The total value was $267, which is pretty darn good. Uh, shipping, I'm estimating around $62. Fees, probably around $30. So my total profit for the day was $157.25. Not bad for spending $17.75. I spent about an hour in the store and it took me about one day to list, research, make the drafts and photograph everything. Uh, this was a cool little set right here. I didn't pick it up because they wanted $100 for it. It's a really neat brass set, but it was so dusty and dirty. It's probably been sitting on that shelf forever. Ugh. But it was really, really neat. So, but you can see right there, it's so dusty. Who's going to pay $100 for this? I don't even think you can get $100 for that on eBay. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time and may the source be with you.